What? And writing that down. You, you need to write that down. I'm really I good am. at finding missing objects. Yeah. I really shock people. They're 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 like, and I'm going to share some stories with you. I I I, I my sister calls me a freak of nature. I just uh, I had three near death experiences. And I came back, and I'm supposed to find missing objects on people. That's my thing. So I tell people, look, let's have fun when we do it. So, so where are you going to be? Probably your kitchen. Probably near your blender. Probably near your stove. But if not, you're too far. But you know you're in the possible right room because you're next to the room where all the birds are. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Let me ask you a dumb question. Yeah, go your ahead. Cockatoo, your cockatoo, is it white or what color is it? There's about a dozen of them. Take your choice. I, I, I hate to say oh it. There's God. some white ones. There's some, you know, all, I'm, I'm colorblind. I don't even know what colors they are. There's a whole bunch of them. Okay. I can tell you that. Okay. Well, you know, I'm proud of your wife for having a hobby. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's quite a hobby. Um, but, but I'm going to tell you, I'm seeing a key near an electrical plug. So what does that mean? Don't always focus in on the key. You know you're going to look for the key because you want to put that in your head. You want to plug in your head like a little micro chip, and you say, show me the key. You show know, me the key near the you know what I'm closest. Gonna, Go ahead. You know what I'm going to do in about 15 minutes? We're going to take a three-minute break. Uh, my studio okay. is out of my house. I'm going to walk into the uh, dining room. It's one thing I, I can, I'm can. i thinking, and is, you got me thinking. The, the day I came home, with, I did a ride. Uh, a, a long ride. I came home and there was bird, you know, how birds, you know, make a mess. Like the birds, especially the parrots, like throwing stuff out of their cage uh, for some reason. So I have to, you know, vacuum the, the, the floor like every day to suck up all the bird seed. And I do that before my wife gets home from work. And I'm just wondering, maybe, because I remember that day coming home from my ride, you know, I didn't even go into the bedroom to change. I just grabbed the, the, the shop vacuum, started vacuuming, and I, I I'm just wondering, I'm going to check something out. Okay. Well, you know, I, I will tell you, I just had a client call, and I said, it's on the floor. I'm on the floor. I said, get on your hands and knees, which I know he didn't. <laughs> I'm like, Peter, for God's sake, get on your hands and knees. And, you know, I have a friend who's my favorite astrologer, and he's just absolutely amazing. But he loses things, which is really funny. So he calls me, where's this? And I'm like, get on your hands and feet. It's in a room with the color green. Now, you can't see green, so you're going to have to ask your wife. Be, for some reason, I see a little bit of the color, either green or blue-green. But see, here's the problem. You don't know those colors. My, my twin and my brother both have a little bit of color blindness, and so um, I'm, I'm not going to say you're screwed, but you're going to need some help from your wife. Okay? Um, now, do, do you see the color green at all, or you don't see See that well, color. green and brown go together, and uh, that's the whole problem of being colorblind. A lot of colors just kind of merge into each other. Oh, God. Yeah, and that might be a problem because I'm see- I can't tell if I'm seeing teal or whatever. So you're Mr. Complicated, period. All right. <laughs> so you would be one of my challenging clients. But all I'm saying to you is my first impression is I, I don't know why this is important, but I see the electrical plug. And maybe you vacuumed, maybe you dropped it near the, the where the vacuum cleaner is. Maybe the vacuum cleaner is in the kitchen. So go back during the intermission and go check it out. But don't forget that in that 360, you're going to see the envelopes. You're going to see the electrical plug. Ask your wife where the green area is. I don't know why that's important. It could be a green piece of furniture, and you don't even know it's green because you can't see the color green. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. And, that, 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 and that's frustrating, too. So do you want me to go ahead and share with you the Smithsonian Magazine article and why I got into the article and how I found the missing objects? Oh, yeah, because please it's gonna do. Help you, it's going to help you find your missing key. Would that be okay? No, that please do. Okay, great. All right, so here, here's I'm, I'll just do the brief rundown. Basically, I was at a conference of the American Dowsing Society, and um, my father was lecturing, lecturing to like I don't know, five hundred people, three hundred people. It was a, quite a large group, and um, I was sitting there. And my dad goes, hey, "Here's my daughter, and she finds missing people in this and that." And I use my dreams all the time, and what I do is. Again, if I can't figure it out, I incubate a dream, 
and I say, show me how to, show me to find what I have, show me to find what I have to, I'm acting like an idiot. Show me what I need to find. Show me, show me this, show me, show me, show me. That is my magic word. So by the way, when you go look for your missing key, plug that in your brain, darn it. Say to yourself, show me the Harley Davidson key. You can't just go, show me the key, because you're going to find keys left and right. Say, show me the Harley Davidson key. All right, and so so we're sitting there, and apparently an author from the Smithsonian Magazine was hired to interview people from the from the American Society of Dowsers about their abilities of using dowsing for health, or plants, or finding water, um, or for their animals in the sense of uh, farming. Um, you can do it for all sorts of stuff. You can do it for healing, but I don't work in that field because I think it's just too, uh, uh, it, you know, you can be arrested for helping people with dowsing. I mean, you, you have to be careful. Um, you know, the healing field is a very touchy, touch and go field. All right. Too, oh, little wow. I never knew, I me. never knew that you could get arrested for doing that. Oh, oh my gosh. If you tell somebody a diagnosis, if you tell somebody a treatment, you can be arrested. And the law is a federal law in, anywhere in the United States, is that you cannot get diagnosis nor treatment. So you have to say, if it were me, I would do this. If it were me, I would do that. And we're getting off on a tangent here. So basically what happened was Jack Hope, the author from the Smithsonian Magazine, was at the, the conference, and he was at my dad's class. He had already interviewed a bunch of people, so he had already selected people he had wanted to write about. And some of these bozos were, you know, they're okay with my dad, but they didn't believe me that I was doing all the stuff I was doing. And um, because it does come across a little suspicious um, that I have an ability to find missing objects, people, treasure, whatever. And I tell people, look, it's not my fault. I just do it. I, I'm, I, it's, it's like a good writer. It's like a good artist. Um, I just fell into the slot and it works. And so the author was saying to me, Jeanette, let me tell you what. Most of the people here, it's not that they don't like you. It's that they just don't believe you can do this. And I said, okay, what do you want me to do? And he goes, I'll tell you what. I'm going to write this article, and you're going to find me. You're going to find a missing object for me. And when you do, if you find it, I'm going to tell everybody you're amazing. And if you don't, I'm going to say, tell everybody you're fake. And I said, okay, that's fine. And he goes, well, why are you acting like that? I said, why am I acting like what? I said, you want me to find you something? I'll find you something. That's what I do. Um, it's like going over to a chef. I bet you can't make the most amazing cre- creme brulee. Now, if you're a chef and you're confident you can make a great chef, you know, creme brulee, then, then you don't even have to worry about it, right? I mean, what's the point? If you come back from intermission and say you found that key, voila, you're a happy camper, I'm a happy camper, and your fans are going to say that is so cool. So Jack Hope and I were sitting there talking. I said, okay, you call me and let me know when you want me to find the key. So finally Jack calls me and says, you know, um, I shouldn't say key, find find what you need. So he calls me and he goes, Jeanette, I need you to find um, a file folder I have. And, you know, file folders, he's a writer. He could have tons of them. And I said, okay, but before we start, two days ago, and he goes, okay, two days ago, I dreamed I was in the trunk of your car. You have to go to the trunk of your car. So, A, he has to go to the trunk of his car. B, he has it in a second location. C, there are more than, there's more than one missing object that he has missing. And he goes, no, I don't. I said, yes, go to the trunk of your car. There's something in the trunk of your car. And it, I, I said, it's really important. You really need to go there and get it because I kept dreaming it and dreaming it and dreaming it. And, of course, he called me crazy, and I'm used to it, so I'm like, okay, whatever. So he goes, okay, I'll call you back in 15. He calls me back, and he's screaming at the top of his lungs, I can't believe you. I just can't believe you. I can't believe you did that. And I said, what? And he goes, I went to the trunk of my car, and I told him where to look, and I, I used all the colors, and I told him, you know, like, look on the right and do this and do that. You know, that's why I tell people, when you look for missing objects, treasure, anything, you have to be more specific. And I gave him all these details, and he goes, I lifted up this thing you mentioned, and lo and behold, was a piece of paper I'd been looking for for um, 
I think he said two years. He goes, two years ago, I was in a car wreck, and if I didn't have the ticket from the courts, I could not sue the man who hit me. And I go to court next week, and I had to have that ticket to move forward with the lawsuit. And he goes, there sat the ticket I couldn't find for two years. Now, that, is, that is really eerie. That is eerie. I mean, I get calls all the time, and people call me, and, yeah, I'm too funny because sometimes people will call me, and if I'm in a hurry, I'm like, oh, just go right here. I got to go. And they call me back and go, how did you do that? And I said, oh, I had a dream two days before you called me, and it gave me the information, so I got to go. And they'll say, well, how much do I owe you? And typically, it depends on what the project is. Like, sometimes it'll be 25 bucks, sometimes 50 bucks, sometimes 150 bucks. And people go, why is it so cheap sometimes and other times it's not? Well, if I know I'm going to be spending a whole week on it, I'll charge 150 bucks. And if it's a 50-50 shot, it's 50 bucks. And if it's one of those where I already have the answer and I know where it is, it's 25 bucks because I'm in a hurry to get off my phone. <laughs> <laughs> And they say, you are so crazy. And I'm like, what do you want from me? I mean, you know, if you're really busy, you're really busy. I mean, I have a lot. My my plate is super full right now. Um, I had a woman call recently and, hey, Jeanette, what's this question? I said, okay, mail me a check for 25 bucks. And she goes, well, most people want 150. I said, just give me 25 bucks, okay? That's a gas of tank, you know, gas for my tank, you know, for my gas tank. And it's good enough. And here's your answer, blah, 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 blah. She calls me back. Everything was right. I'm not always right. I, I, I you know, sometimes in a, I'm in a hurry. But if I already got the answer and I know it's right, I'll say, oh, it's blah, 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 25 bucks. Who cares? I got gas on my tank. I can go to the grocery store, get groceries. I'm good to go. All right. So with Jack Hope, he got his ticket. He went to the trunk of his car. That dream quit coming to me. And he was Mr. Happy Camper. So then he said, okay, that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm really looking for is the folder. Uh, what was it? I'm looking for this missing folder of, uh, I can't even remember what it was. Um, so, so basically the who is, I use this protocol. The who is, his name was Jack Hope. He was in New York City, and I'm in, I'm in Northern Virginia. So I'm like 15 minutes from D.C., so I do this remotely, okay? And I said, uh, Jack, um, we're going to write down your name. We're going to write down your address. So we have his name, address in New York City specifically. You have to write that down. And then I tell people typically to take their little fingertips and touch it because it's like a little computer chip in their brain. <laughs> and then um, I said, so then whatever you're missing, so let's call it this, the file on Mr. Smith, the article on Mr. Smith. So you write down the words, the article on Mr. Smith. So you wrote down the who, what, when, where, how. And he thought he lost it, like, at Christmas time. And I said, so I said, you can't say Christmas time. You have to say December. And you have to say the year. And he goes, okay. And so these are all links to the missing item. And so I said, so then what he did was he drew me a picture of his condo. And I said, okay, I am not only dowsing, but I'm using my psychic ability, and I'm going back to your office. I'm in a room that feels like nothing but an office. It feels like it's designate, designated like an office. Like I talked to you about your kitchen. This is a room that feels like, I, I said, you know, did you buy an old army desk that looks like a metal desk? And he goes, yeah, I did. Okay, I now, said, okay. okay now we have to uh, take a three-minute break. I'm going to put ah. you on hold, and I'm going to go look uh, and see if I can find the key. Well, I'll be back in three minutes. You're going to be on hold. Perfect. Okay. Bye. around. 